Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God of Notes. I'm going to get into the energy of the cards, but keep in mind the collective, this is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with everyone. Please use your discernment, take what does, and leave the rest behind. But if it does resonate and you just happen to like this reading, please let me know. Wow, I have chariot. Nice. Please let me know by commenting down below or liking this reading. Holy Spirit, what's the message you have for the collective energies, please? Alright, I have chariot and the chariot again. Huh. Hmm. So someone could be moving on, going forward. Forward movement. And it's maybe as fast as they possibly can with a chariot coming out twice. Uh, had, or this person had moved so fast to the point where they are now having a financial loss with this five of pentacles. Um, feeling shut out in the cold or even having hardship. This could also speak of spiritual poverty, emotional poverty or something. But this person could be lacking even in their health. Something could be going wrong because of the way, the speed at which they were moving. I have the Eight of Cups. Yes, so they move so fast. They're, they're now locked in poverty mindset or spiritual poverty or some form of poverty. They're moving on and they're feeling unfulfilled regarding a particular situation that they're in. They're walking, aw walking away into the unknown. They're letting go of something. They're leaving, but... They're still feeling like they're losing, like they're lost in some way or the other. Holy Spirit, anything else about the story yet? What happened? What happened here, Holy Spirit? Give me the cards that best describe the energy. Give me the cards. Oh Lord, that's a lot of cards. Give me the cards that best describe the energy, please, Holy Spirit. What else do we need to see here? Give me the card that best describes the energy. Thank you. I have a night, the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands speaks of I'm a very charming person, person who is very free spirited, a person who is driven and very impulsive. So this person could be very courageous in some way, shape, or form. So they use their drive. To maybe move so fast to the point where they end up in a situation where they're no longer feeling fulfilled. All right. Um. Yeah. I have the King of Cups here. I have the Temperance and I have the Tower. Wow. So you could be the King of Cups. You could be the King of Cups here, and I have the Knight of Wands. So someone here is very balanced. It is, seem, it, it is feeling to me like you're the king of cups and you're very balanced and you're in harmony. You're having a lot of self-control and very calm. Uh, very Somehow in harmony with yourself and the universe. But there's a tower here and a tower is only in a relationship when it's built on a faulty foundation. So this um, with this tower, everything was revealed. There was a sudden change and... Someone could be going through an awakening. It was complete chaos in this relationship. Or it is. Holy Spirit, give me some more on this tower. What happened in this tower, Holy Spirit? I have a two of wands. So with this two of wands, um, this person will need to choose a path. They... The, the path that they're supposed to choose, they're trying to, should I stay or should I go? They're preparing to leave their comfort, comfort zone, but they're still wondering if they're really supposed to leave. So as a result of them not sure if they're supposed to leave, the universe brought in a tower for them. And this tower is feeling to me like it's attached to this um, king of wands who was very impulsive and now feeling like they're unfulfilled in the situation that they put themselves in. Okay? So, 
Wait, this King of Cups now, you're telling me that you're very balanced. Can you give me some more on this King of Cups energy, Holy Spirit? Yeah, Five of Swords. Yeah, there was some conflict in this relationship. Conflict, um, possibly over long-term long -term investments. So someone was having conflict. Someone was um, very unfair. Wanting to win at all costs. Very hostile. Possibly towards this King of Cups. But this King of Cups is a hard worker. They're working. So this person here is um, actually raking up their lawn. And they're putting in all their expertise. And they're working on their long-term success. But this person wanting to win. Possibly win at all costs. I'm not sure what they're trying to win. Holy Spirit, give me some more on this Seven of Pentacles, please. The strength. Yeah. They want to win at all costs. But you're coming up as being har in harmony. You're coming up as having unconditional love. You have the inner strength. You could be a Leo with the strength card here. So... They want to win over you, but you have the strength, you're balanced, but they are impulsive. So they, there's no way they can ever out, outrun you because you're balanced. Holy Spirit, anything else? Yeah. I have the King of Pentacles. So someone, you could also be embodying this King of Pentacles, telling me you are a practical leader. So they want to win over you. You could be a business person also. Yeah. I have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So someone possibly is going to be given a new, a new start of a pentacle, a gift, a financial opportunity. It could be this Knight of Wands, or maybe they went towards a, um, a, an Ace of Pentacles which they now realize is not what they really wanted what they really wanted is more so they are feeling unfulfilled in this situation they were also under an ace of wands for them to ignite their passion towards going towards something it could be coming towards you king of cups as, as i said king of cups um remember tarot doesn't have woman or man is just masculine or feminine energies so it could be a masculine or a feminine that i'm speaking about yes they were handed a new project this project could be to help you to work towards something but instead of working with you towards that thing they were working against you trying to win you up trying to run over you at all costs and this possibly was a, a new relationship that was handed to them from the divine a new emotional um emotional relationship maybe for you to, for you both to build something <laughs> i'm getting so much channeling so i'm kind of stuttering <clears throat> sorry but um they want to win over you but you were always balanced but they possibly think their strength and their impulsiveness and their wanting to succeed and wanting to take action over you could actually outrun you but there came the tower because this is not supposed to be you're supposed to be working on something together but instead they try to work to defeat you to win over you at all costs to stress you out to cause to be very hostile to you bullying you in a way intimidating you so the tower came to fix this or the spirit after the tower what happened so they were under the Ace of Pentacles, maybe to work with you with this Ace of Wands. Yeah, I have the Fool in the reverse. So this person was very careless. This person was careless because they want to win at all costs with this Five of Swords. They, they were afraid to start something new. They wanted, okay. They were a fool and they're feeling now self, they're now in a self-imposed prison. Their thoughts are limited. So if a person has a limited thought, why do they believe they're able to succeed with a person who is balanced in their thoughts, mind, emotion, and everything? 
they think they could have outrun you or overthrow you some way, somehow. Yes. So now you're standing your ground, you're defending your territory, and you're um, creating a boundary with people or things that no longer serves you. Okay, my card fell. Alright, I have... Yeah, so you possibly have to stand your ground because this was somehow burdening you, giving you extra responsibility, um, creating a lot of exhaustion and struggles for you. So Holy Spirit, give me some more on this. What's the result of all this? What's going to be the result? Yeah. What's going to be the result? You're going to be handed an ace. An ace of pentacles. You're going to be handed an ace of pentacles. Hmm. As a result of you want you letting go of this burden. You're going to let go of the burden and you're going to take on a new opportunity, a new manifestation, or a new job or promotion. Yeah, you're going to take on something new. Letting go because you're the empress. You're the empress here. They were overburdening you with all these stress and struggle. Holy Spirit, what's going to happen there after? Yeah, you're going to join force with other people. You're going to join force and, um, oh yeah, this is a pentacle. Sorry, this three of pentacles came out in the reverse. You're going to be working alone. You're going to be working alone. Yeah, you're going to be working alone. Um to form whatever this is Holy Spirit because possibly you were supposed as I said before you were supposed to work with this Knight of Wands person to achieve this Ace of Wands and this Page of Pentacles this is a small offer that was handed possibly to them but they they refused it trying to win you at all costs trying to win against you at all costs so now you're going to be working alone forgetting about all of this up here that's this impulsive person and you're going to be working alone. Give me some more on this three of pentacles, Holy Spirit. Give me some more on this three of pentacles. Yeah. You have a nine of cups. So with working alone, it's going to be wish fulfillment for you. You're going to be satisfied. You're going to be, um, you're going to be, be abundant, very successful. And it's going to be pleasure for you to work by yourself. Holy Spirit, anything else? Yeah. I have a three of wands and you're waiting for your ships to sail in. You're moving on. You're very confident. I have also the magician. You're moving on. You're very confident and you're moving on to new horizon. And with the magician card here, card here is telling me you are able, very able to turn your visions into reality. You have the desire. You have the willpower. You have the skill to turn anything into what you want. Holy Spirit, anything more? Moving on. What's going to happen with this kick Knight of Wands? Yeah. They're now locked, feeling bound, tied to some situation that they're not able to let go. They're having inner doubt and conflict. They're confused in between one foot in, one foot out because they're impulsive. They don't know what they want. So they choose something else which was not what they needed. Now they realize... Yeah, I have the Hierophant, the Hermit, and the Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles is telling me this person is going to still be juggling. But they could be getting or you could be getting um, spiritual wisdom from the divine. You could be educating yourself, whatever you're working on alone. It could be getting more knowledge, build, um, building your belief system on the divine. Or it could be that you're seeing things in a different perspective with the Hermit card here. You are doing a soul searching. You're being alone. So I have two alone card here. You could be doing self introspection. And you're withdrawing yourself as much as you can from people, places, or things that no longer serve you. To get more knowledge about your spiritual wisdom. You're sp building your spiritual belief system. And um, conforming to something that's new. I have, um, you could be weighing your options. You maybe have multiple priorities wanting, trying to figure out which one you should do over the other. But that's healthy. 
you know, so you can make the right choice. So that's good. Okay, Holy Spirit, how do I close this reading and what's going to be the outcome? Okay, the outcome is gonna that you're going to have the strength to go forward. You're going to move forward with unconditional love. You're going to move forward with courage, strength, faith, and you're going to be very influential. have the queen of cups very warm very caring you're gonna move on for my cards fell well i can't even find it i don't know where it is okay all right yeah you're gonna move on move forward very you could be a healer and you could be very intuitive also very abundant i have the nine of pentacles here it's telling me you're moving on very loving very caring and um, you could be a very supportive too. With the King of, sorry, the Nine of Pentacles here is telling me, um, you know your self worth. You are able to sufficiently sustain yourself, not depending on anything or anyone to sustain you. So, Holy Spirit, what's going to be the, the outcome of this relationship between this Knight and this Empress? emperor in reverse so this person was very controlling they want to control the situation in a way where they have lost it that's why the tower came because they want to control it this person had a really big ego very immature they are a very poor planner and they want to control everything wanting to win at all costs why do they want to win when they were supposed to join with you this person was supposed to join force with you to create something. Instead, they want to win at all costs. I'm, I, I'm not getting it. But anyway, Holy Spirit, what's going to be the outcome? One more card. Yeah. Yeah, someone is feeling unfulfilled. Oh, my cards are falling all over the place. I have the eye priestess. Yes. So you are moving forward with the... With the strength to do whatever you do as a magician, and you're waiting for your ship to ships to sail in. You're the high priestess. You're also the hierophant. You're getting your spiritual, building your spiritual belief system, and you're having or getting sacred knowledge. So you are, as I said, you are the empress, and you're embodying all four queens in the deck. It could be divine feminine. You have the inner knowing. Yeah, you're getting your messages from a higher power the hierophant could actually speak of god so god could be actually speaking directly to you through your intuition so this is what he's telling me um you're getting spiritual il il illumin illumination <laughs> i never can call this word yeah while you're alone thank you holy spirit what going forward yeah i have the moon in reverse you're gonna be rest letting go of all fears letting go of secrets the truth is going to be revealed. The truth is, well, there's clarity here, what was happening. You you know, because you are the high priestess. You are intuitive because you are also the queen of cups, very intuitive, and you're a healer. So you know exactly what took place here. Holy Spirit. One more card, please. Yeah. Yeah, this person. <laughs> so our, um, this, per this card... The king of wands in the reverse. It fell on the king of pentacles. It is saying this person was ruthless, very tyrant, a very weak leader. Because this also come up with the emperor in the reverse. So this is embodying the same person's energy. Hmm. All right. So you had to, um, the universe came in to create a to make a better foundation because they had to uproot that one because this emperor in the reverse king of wands in the reverse the king of pentacles came up as a king of wands in the reverse wanting to win at all costs with this five of swords they were supposed to build something with you for the divine but instead they go against you by wanting to win over you wanting to dominate the entire situation they wanted to for you to look like you are beneath them some way, shape, or form. So as a result, the universe came in to have it balanced. And balancing the equation, it was torn down. God, God is giving you 
the opportunity to go forward, to be the magician of your own life, creating your own dis destiny, and you're going to be doing this alone. So, Kale, um, um, let me get an ancient message here. Holy Spirit, one message for this reading, please. One message for this reading. One message, please. It says, your children are watched over by angels, dear guardian angels of my children. Thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best way to be the best parent and role model for my own and other people's situation and children. So your angels are guide guiding over not just you but all of us just ask them for your he for help and they will be there to assist you okay i have this cry at the back take your time making this decision so this says archangel michael please help me to stay strong and release and relax as i approach this situation remind me to detach and step back allowing the situation to naturally unfold thank you for your for protecting me Okay, so collectives, whatever the situation is, and you feel like whatever you cannot control, let it go. And control is too strong. Whatever you cannot handle, leave it to the universe, and God will control it for you. So thanks again for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. Peace, I leave with you. Goodbye.